everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Now this video, I'm going to show you how you use numbers in Mac to plot a graph. Now first, you need to launch numbers and then you choose a blank template. Now once you have your temp templates open, what happened, you now get over to the right because it's plot a graph, you do not need vertical, I mean the gray out net vertical. And then just like any other experiment, we are going to have manipulated variable and dependent variable. I do not have data with me, so what happened was that is zero. Then uh, my manip manipulated variable is independent. I mean, uh, this is where the number I change. So I set up an experiment with numbers span from zero to two. Yeah, it's increment zero point two, four, and six. And then I click, drag it. I want this computer to help me generate this number. I need to have at least three cell. Then I navigate my mouse down here to here. It will change. Okay, from here to here. Click, drag to maximum. I'm going to zoom out just now. Okay, zoom out. So what happened? I have all this data, almost 20 data. The reason to why I use computer is because I have so many data. If you have less than five or less than eight data, I think it's good to use a graph paper. It's easier, faster. But if you have more than that, then it's good to learn some uh, software. Use software to help you do, do the work. Now, here, okay, zero and zero. I want to plot a linear graph, for example. But of course, in the experiment, we have no idea whether it's linear or non-linear. So, I want to create some data. So I'm going to create some data. So what happened? I key in the equation. I want to have a graph of y equals 2x, say for example. So I press on equal, the function comes out, 2 times x times is shift 8 from your, cal I mean from your keyboard, you press shift 8 is times. x is actually the, the manipulated variable. Okay, click on here, press on enter, I get an answer, this is y equals 2 x. The same is true with just now, I navigate my mouse down here in the middle, Click, drag, scroll down, release. I got all my data now. Click the two column, one and two. I want to centralize it. I go to text, make it central. Looks better. And then the rest of this four, I think I don't need it. Click and drag this four. Right click, delete, select a column. Then give it a name. Maybe I want it to be, I want to find a relationship between maybe I have quantity A, I don't know what is it, and you can name it any quantity you want, B, okay? So I have a name for my graph. So this video is about plotting a graph. So I go to chart, lower right hand corner, choose scatter. This is just a template, so I need to add data so click add chart data now this is very important listen carefully the first click is the x data the second click is the y data okay so the first click is the x data so this is a manipulated variable so i click on the first data and then the second click you don't confuse by this number okay just ignore this first click is my x second click is my y so second click is here so I click here, then here you go. I want to include all this data into here. What happened? Then we get my mouse to the lower right hand corner. So it changed shape, isn't it? My cursor changed. Click, drag it down. So you can see all my data here. You know? Now it's in the chart. Now I, am I done? Yes, I'm done. Click done here. Bingo. But then you need to do some formatting. So start with, you click on empty area in this graph, click on it, go to axis, x-axis and y-axis, x-axis is I want the axis name, this is my axis name, be sure you have a symbol and unit, of course. Then uh, for scale, I think I let it auto, I think the, the computer did a very good job. Tick mark, maybe I want to do it central, okay, you can see central. Uh, it doesn't need to have any grid line. Then for y-axis, 
Um, for y axis, maybe I want axis name as well as axis line, draw a line. Then I go to here, double click. I get a name, Q U A N T I T Y B. Enter, done. Come back to the graph, empty area. Then next it will be, do I need grid line? I, I have grid line, let it gray, no problem. Put a series, data. I want the symbol to be cross instead of circle. Size is too big, maybe I reduce it. Seven is good, perhaps. I do not want to have connection line, otherwise you just connect all my line. I want a trend line here. So trend line, click, I want linear. Obviously, you look at this data, it's linear. Yeah? It's not long, it's not polynomial, it's not power, okay? It's linear. Linear, I have a line. Then the next thing you want to do is, I want to show equation, I will find the gradient. So I show equation. Here, upper left hand corner, you can't remove it, I mean, you can't move it around. So 2 is the gradient, so the way to get you an answer. This is an ideal case, that's why you get a, a round number, because I've keyed in here just now. Yeah? So in experiment, maybe you will get this nice number. Okay? R squared value, R squared value is actually an indicator of how well your data fit into the line. Okay? 1 is the maximum. Anything less than 0 0.5, I think it's hard to believe. I mean, if you can't accept it. Then, um, yeah, that's basically all about it. Okay. Oh, let's say I want, oh, what happened to this point? I want to connect it to here. Then you click on the data. Oh, sorry. You click on the line. Okay. Instead of, instead of, um, oh, I'll, I'll click on the line to change the color. Yeah. I want it black. Okay. So it's a black line. Close it. I want it to be a thin line. Okay. One. I think it's good enough. One. Now, just now I mentioned, I want the data to be in origin. So what you do is, uh, I click on this data. Oh, you go to trend line again. Okay, maybe I click on a, on a on a graph chart. Go to series. This is the data because the data takes from here. So you go up here, click include x as well. Oh my goodness, I changed something. Oh no, I think I delete it off. I need to delete it. Okay, here. I need to navigate my mouse up here and then wait until it change. Click, include, zero, enter. And then for Y value, click on here. Okay, wait until the cursor change. You see, it change from here to here. Okay, then I have all my data. Then you realize what happened to this extra. Then it's to do with the skill. So you go to axis again. This is the Y, okay? Minimum number. I think it's you do not go auto, go to zero. I think it's good enough. You want to enter. And here you go. A very nice curve plot by using numbers. Maybe you don't want this legend. Maybe uh just click and then delete it off. Once you're satisfied with it, you may just save it, control save it. Or you want to export this graph, click, right click, and then save as PDF. And then you may, you may uh, export it into your presentation or work. That's all from me. I hope you learned something here. Appreciate the thumbs up. Stay tuned to my next video.